Hello, everyone. It's another Friday. So before we start it today, I'm going to talk about there will be a little change. Uh, from next week, we are going to change from the YouTube live into uh, enjoying our uh, live demonstrations. So if you hear this, uh, that means you are right now watching it on YouTube. And uh, I'm not sure this is working, but I'm going to continue with this. Uh, so there will be a little registration so after you register, and it will be uh, give you the Zoom meeting link uh, for non-members and also have download the reference and the traceable so that you would have a full learning experience with me. Okay. All right. So if can you see me on the uh, YouTube, Catherine? You are. Okay, this is good. But you see my video, right? You see me already talking over there. Okay, this is great. So it appeared to be working. All right, so also in the future, I'm going to also have a little bit slower pace in my uh, demonstrations. And right now, this is more like a live demo on, on YouTube. But I want to turn it into more of their learning into active conversation. So all right, I'm going to continue. And let's start the painting by looking at the big shape, right? Now, this is we we'll also talk about, all talk about the shapes. How can we capture the shape? So I'm going to take a look at the dark shape right over here from here to here. So I'm going to leave a little bit more room on the right hand side. This is also design idea. And lots of artists. Uh, lots of beginner and you just forget that actually you are not only painting what you see, you actually take things, take the elements away from the reference and take it apart and we put it back together. The best way to think about it is to recognize those shapes. When you see those shapes, you are also going to thinking about how you're going to modify the shapes to make it even more interesting. So let's start it. and. The, take a look. And so I'm going to have the left side over here. I'm going to make the house also slightly a little bit smaller. Okay, right over here. And then on this side, I'm going to have it a little bit over here too. We don't have to make it all the way because I really like the uh, the tree, uh, the telephone post on this. Also a little bit suggestions of the rooftop on the other house over there. So since I already marked it, this is the left side, this is the right side of the house. And in that case, and there would be the house over here on the top. So I say the house, but however, in fact, we, are, we don't think about house, we think about shapes, right? So here we go. Now we define it, this is the right side of this uh, brown house. And this are the, the left side of this brown house as we mark it over here. You can change it at this point. Now we're going to see that how we're going to divide this two shape. It looks like there's a three part, right? This house take two and this is take one. Okay, one, two, three, three part over here. So this house, the width of this house, it takes about two thirds of the entire space from here to there. Okay, let's take a look at that. And this is good. I'm going to put this on the left side of this house. Like that's is good. I'm going to come down over here and take a look at this house. And from here all the way. And then the middle of it. And also a little bit less than one third. Right, right here. So we don't have to draw all the painting, all the details. And we want to just go into looking for the shape, how we're going to recompose the shape to make our painting looks even better. Okay. Uh, here we go. So the best way to start it is just not be afraid of it. It just go with it. Okay. Here you go. 
Now I'm going to see the uh, root top and from here all the way draw very smally smally okay I'm not sure it's smally smaller and and smaller line and uh, actually the, the chimney right on the top over here it looks like a right in the middle right there I think I'm going to move it you see this is very important be able to see it and also act on it and make changes right I'm going to take a look at I might move it on this side or maybe move it on the other side I decided to move it on this area right you maybe see it differently you maybe want it to do it differently so this is good everyone is going to come up different decision okay that's just the chimney right over there and it's going to be there off the side and here we go that's just pretty good that's the wall over here and that's we well, I'm going to draw a little bit snow okay here you go like that and come in here you can change the shape of the snow over here as well okay this is good pretty good now we're already having the some decisions already make make up our mind and the top over the snow over here and could be right here we can see a little bit light in the back which is beautiful we can lift the light and also we're seeing um, quite a bit of a uh, catch the shadow as just the shapes so also going to put a little bit a tree over here just use this brush it's just tap 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 on it and you can have the suggestions of that this piece of lock over here I'm going to remove it it's not really helpful right so I'm going to come into this side and take a look and the front of the house uh, try it I really bet that you will enjoy this just to draw the line with watercolor on the paper and you're going to have a different kind of uh, experience maybe at the beginning you feel a little scared but it will be fun okay yes here you go it will be safer than roller coaster I, I bet okay let's look at the window I'm gonna have this coming down maybe this the roof coming up a little bit you see making changes just do what you want to do all right that's chimney over here too and the chimney just put a little shape that's good enough okay that's the left side the right side and the top over here oh I'm gonna leave that the white shape over here okay you are ready oh my brush that's <laughs> the click of the brush and uh, go to enjoyingart.com slash brushes if you're listening to me enjoyingart.com slash slash brushes and you will see this brush and actually this is a there's a, a new generation of brush which is going to um, put it on sale because the quality of the, the brush here is even more flexible uh, than the older one and I'm going to talk more about that and okay this is good you can use any brush that you like okay and I use like a lots of lots of brushes in the last uh, 50 years but it came down to be this is exactly what I need uh, this this pair of brush so if you're first time uh, to this channel there's two brushes that are all I use for all the small watercolor painting so give it a try okay this is good I have this be a little careful this this line is very much even though I have a little movement a little curve but you actually see a proximary a very straight so I, I really need to um, uh, have a little di distraction from that so I'm also going to because of snow uh, in the catch the shadow I have a little bit blue color right and I'm gonna have so making sure that have some shape over here 
And also I have a little shape over here too, coming up like this. So it's kind of like I give a little bit of distraction and break it. So this is good. Okay, and on this side, it's going to have some tree, and this is good. And this is the big shade, the biggest uh, area that we need to uh, be careful about. And before I start it, I'm going to show you, this is the brand new brush. I just used it once uh, in this morning's demonstration. And I'm going to just go into a yeah, 45 degree. I'm going to just remove this line, which is I drew it, and it end up not what I really want. If you persistent doing this for a few times, and that is going to be softened, okay? And this is good. So after you paint the sky, that may be never going to be noticed. Okay. No? Very good. Now I'm gonna remove all the wet. Just 45 degree, okay? Be a little gentle with this brush when you use it. Mostly I would do it in this kind of 45 degree angle and you can see the angle like this. Like this kind of angle and use it and you don't have to do any treatment uh, at the beginning. Okay, let's come back to the painting. First thing I'm going to do, I want to remind you, all the snow tree in the background over here, they are actually darker than the sky. Can you see that? It's darker than the sky color. So that means you don't have to leave those uh, snow tree. Can you see that? And that means you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to be painting. Uh, so it's a little focus uh, just on the sky. Let's take care of the sky, right? All right, this is what we're going to do. And I'm going to just wet the sky. I don't always wet the sky. So I'm going to wet it because it's very soft color and also the chimney and all the white except the rooftop over here and all darker than the sky. Uh, the first thing I want you to pay attention to is I want you to be a little bit around, okay, right here. Okay, that's good. You don't need to leave it because they are darker. So coming down over here, that's good. All right, you don't have to go all the way to the bottom. Okay, now let's take a look. What is the color in the sky? I'm gonna get the red color and the present blue, all the Windsor blue green shade. I'm using the uh, Windsor and Newton uh, professional paint. And look at the top, and it's just a little bit more red. And the bottom, get a little bit more blue. Uh, that's just good. Now I'm going to just put that right here. See that? Just put it on. And maybe a little bit red coming over here. And after that, and this I have a little bit more blue. I'm going to tap a little bit blue. It's only between these two colors. And the, all the three colors that we use to mix all the paint, all the color in our painting, is only the three primary color. The Windsor yellow, Windsor red, and the Windsor blue green shade, or the present blue. Okay, this is good. And coming down over here, and this is good. Now, let it, uh, let the water melt it together. This is good. I'm gonna have it a little bit light over here, and it gradually coming down almost like uh, white. Maybe have the little yellow color here. If I don't get the yellow into the green, because it's gonna look like. Uh, more like a green color. So I'm going to have that a little bit yellow at the bottom. That's just good. And let it there. Now I'm going to come on to this side. And this, it have a little bit more blue. So I'm going to tap a little bit blue color over here. It's just going to maybe have a little bit red shade blue color. You sense it, it looked like I have some, uh, that little bit red shade color. Now I'm going to tap that over here. And coming a little bit over here, let the water uh, do some work for you. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna let it stay and see how it's gonna go. And coming down over here, I'm gonna use a little bit smaller brush by using just the blue color, okay? A little bit more, just the 
bright blue color here you go and get a little bit red shade okay that's good now i'm going to take a look and put that color in here and let it merge together okay here you go like that put it on that's just good i'm going to have that a little bit blue color coming through Oh, careful, the root top. We need to protect the root top. Okay, I think this is good. Have a little bit blue color over there. And now I'm going to remove this color out. Okay, reserve that, the root top. And I can also actually clean this brush. And I'm going to just have this coming down over here to meet the top of the uh top roof okay have that coming down that's good wonderful and we're gonna watch out how the sky is gonna turn out okay the bottom over here okay the bottom over here i'm gonna have a little gray color take a little gray which is have yellow blue and red i'm gonna take a look you need to have a little bit light on the top so from here up is supposed to be only the gray color and showing could be suggesting there is some tree in the background and this is good like that looking for shapes okay looking for the form the shape now i'm going to leave this guy along and come back a little bit later. And it's actually start moving and because the water and it's making a nice, uh, I'm gonna have a little bit warmer on this side, have a little bit of this color. And take a look, put it for here as is the grass. And this is still wet. So I'm gonna let it, let it uh, work on it to get uh, on its own. I'm gonna figure it out how it's gonna come out. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna bottom over here, I'm gonna remove the yellow. I don't need the yellow on the snow. Okay, this is good. All right, the sky looks is, uh, pretty nice. At this point, I'm gonna start working on the larger area of the snow at the front. I'm gonna have a little bit red shade blue color. I'm gonna take it over here and it maybe have a little red color or maybe a little bit yellow so make it a little bit less intense but looking at this would be looking for larger shape okay i know i know lots of people like say i paint something just like something that may not be a good compliment and you want to have your own idea when you're looking at it now i'm going to have this shape you see that interesting i'm going to have this shape over here too and here you go. I have the shape over here. And just use the corner of this. I try to use more the large brush. Okay, over here, I'm gonna have the little shape over here too. That's good. And now it's nice shape and they blending together. Okay, take a look over here, just use the corner. Okay, try not to be nervous about when you're painting. You need to be relaxed and feeling fun with the painting. I'm going to have a little bit orange color in the background. It's going to look like the sun. The sun is shining on the area. So down over here, I'm going to have a little bit um, like a gray purple color. So I'll take this color. That will be fine. Okay, coming like that and seeing the... Uh, the top have a little bit gray color. You don't need to touch with all other colors, the shape. Okay, keep that as the separate shape. Okay, now I'm gonna put it right at the front over here. I'm gonna have really quick, like brush stroke. You see that? And that stroke alone, it is art. It is this expression, it's texture. Okay, here you go. That's good. I just use the corner, a few hair, touching on it. And I can even do this. Oh, I can do a lot more. 
then just the big area here you go I can put that little corner over here and using the large brush make you focus more on the cohesive or big area okay instead of think about too much about the smaller area okay now here have also some shape and just drag it down over here and looking at I get a little bit more the blue color and here you go that's good like that be consistent all the shadow catch the shadow could share the same color uh, the same color hue and intensity okay here we go like that and on this side have a few line coming up okay you see that now the whole thing have been divided right now the next thing I'm going to put in some dark color into it um, all right we're not ready to going back to the sky it looks like and here it's going to getting dry soon and when it's give it a few minutes we're going to come back to paint the, uh, the snow tree uh, in a moment okay and this is getting dry very soon as well so I'm going to come back a little bit later but at this point uh, I'm going to let those dry at the front before I add a little shade uh, but at this point probably going to have a little bit nice shape they're a little bit more even stronger blue color like that there you go like this this good put that a little bit stronger and at, here you go this is good like that nice we're gonna have some this is still wet so I'm not ready to um, going back to that yet so have those color over there and you think this is a little bit too dark but you may be surprised and I'm gonna have a little bit blue when I have some darker color there you maybe see it a little bit differently okay I'm gonna have this a little bit darker too a little bit darker right over here okay that's good okay a little bit later all right, now I'm going to set a little bit dark color, maybe in the house. Uh, let's see, on this house, start from here. I'm going to have it darker. That's look like a, a gray color. So get the blue with the red color together. And have a little yellow. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to get a little red, and it will be great. Okay, here you go. Mix that into. This is a beautiful. Okay, think about the color and think about how dark is the color. And you can modify the color. It's very important. You are, you own all the license in the painting. Okay, here you go. Coming down, that's good. And coming on this way. Okay. Yeah, this afternoon I read a comment on the uh, YouTube. Uh, common and someone said if you don't mind I repeat this and uh, you really enjoy watching the video of paintings and you really want to do painting but somehow you just can't start can I start the learning and you ask me how can you do that and ask me can you help me okay you know, is helping someone really need the trust. So otherwise, I cannot help you unless you trust me. Right now we have, for a limited time, we're going to close that very soon. We have a, a seven days membership trial for free. And if you hear that right now, you might want to rush to patreon.com slash youngchen. You want to take a look at it, come in to try the seven days. And if this is what you want, we have the community. You need community 
to get your learning started. Okay. And then we have a, a huge learning center so you can follow the your learning path slowly and we have sharing Discord so you can share with like-minded uh, people around the world so we can learn it together, right? So that's just my advice. And when you are become a member, I will be better to help you by seeing your path of improvement and growing. Okay, this is good. Now I'm putting this, the, the value, the dark value over here. And I can have maybe even darker. I'm gonna put that right here. Especially right under here is a little bit shadow. Okay, so a little bit darker. Let me catch the shadow. That's good. Right, keep having fun. Here you go. Now like this. Keep thinking about the shapes. Okay, the house may be not as important as a beautiful shapes, a beautiful painting. Okay. Here you go. Like this. That's good. All right, we're gonna keep it for now, right here. Put a little shape over there. And we're gonna put a little red color uh, into that, the window and into uh, the the stick. And that's that, the, whole tight, the dark color tied in the whole painting. Now we're gonna come back, oh, this is good. There already, uh, the tree, the skies is already dry. Now I'm gonna come back over here and thinking about the, uh, the snow tree. Look at the color, it's a very gray color. So get a little red with the blue color and this is the gray color. I think about how dark the color is most important. I'm gonna make it like this. This is pretty good and this color, this is good. Now what I wanna do, I'm gonna just use the side of this brush now I'm gonna do this first one first, right here. Okay, put it on like that. Okay, that's good. It's not really that dark, okay? It's just a little bit darker than the sky. And because of this color, it's very, very persistent. And don't cover the whole area, just like that. And the uh, cold press, uh, texture, it, it really helped you to create that feeling of the of the tree. Okay, that's good. Like that, don't make it too thick. Now I'm gonna have a little bit more blue. Okay, very much the same color. And use the side of the brush again. Okay, like this. Just, if you're not sure, watch me a little bit longer before you start painting this. Okay, let's uh, have some light. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna continue using this same color. Okay, somewhere I can make it a little bit thicker, somewhere a little bit, a little bit thinner. I think this is good. After we have the brunch, and that will be even better. So now I'm gonna in the middle over here, I can have a little bit thicker. Okay. Look for the shape. Look for how the shape look. That's good. Okay. That's just good. I'm gonna continue. Can continue mix the color. The red and the blue mix it together. Now coming here, there's another tree over here. And right on the side of this uh, house. I'm gonna put it like that, just the side of the brush. Okay, you don't need to have it really well defined. Define. It just use look like look like it's there, look like it's not there. It will be fine like that. That's good. And one more on this side. I'm gonna have. Oh, thank you, Diane. Very nice of you. Okay, that's good on this side. I, 
I don't know how how to donate that on on this. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn something from you, Diane. How to do that? That's good. Now I have the tree over there. It's very light, and all about feelings. And that's feeling in a painting is more important than the object. And now I'm going to add this, like this color. That's great. I'm going to have this right over here, and service as a very light. Or oh, actually, it should have a little bit red too, because it's a little bit too brown. So I have a little red in this color, and coming over onto this side. So I look at the brush. Uh, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, great. Now, um, the foundation is already done. It looks just really nice. And I'm going to have also a little bit darker, but not really that dark. Look at the tree in, in the, on the left-hand side. And now I'm going to just use the brush like this. Tap, tap on it. And here you go. Look at that. Yes. Look and analyze it and then paint. That's good. The key is to keep the object looks in distance, not doing, uh, not making it too dark. If you're making it dark, it looks like a very forward, very close to us, right? We don't want that. I'm gonna have a little bit lighter color. Okay, a little bit lighter. And showing that's a different brush, a different trees, different bushes right here. Like that, that's good enough. Okay, and some little line. Okay, that's good. Okay, this is very good. I have something over there. And you're gonna be surprised is that, oh, yes, the things that come together is can be so quick. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna looking at the rooftop. I think it's a little bit warmer compared to the rooftop color and the sky color. The sky of a color over here, a little bit more blue. There's actually a little bit more red. I'm gonna use the red shade blue color and have a little bit red. So it's a little bit warmer. And here you go, take this color, that's good. Now I'm gonna put this on the root top first. And the judging the color, and this is a great skill that we all need to have. We're gonna have more events uh, in the future. Talk about how to see the, the color and see the value, more important. That's good, that's good, right there. Okay, that's just the white. It's the same consistent white. Okay, this is good. All right, now since I just put this color on, I need to wait a little bit before I come in back over here to paint this house. Okay, now at this point, it's ready to set a little color onto the tree. Okay, think about value. It's not really that dark. I'm gonna take this color very close to the color I need. And let's get a little bit blue. Okay, a little bit more blue, and it almost look like a gray. Okay, this is good, but not really that dark. Okay, this is good. Now, which one I'm gonna start? I'm gonna think about, how about I'm gonna work on this small one? And think about a little thin line. Okay, it's still a little wet, but it's probably good. Okay, a little bit soft. Ooh, I like that. And, okay come back a little bit. Now take a look at this This one. I did this first. So it should be dry. Definitely too dark. I'm gonna have a little bit water and let go some paint and come back over here. That's good. Lighter, okay, right here. Like that, coming and some very thin lines. So this brush and giving you very good control 
you don't need like a many many brushes it's just one and with the flat brush so I have a whole system for you if you want to follow my process and use the tool use the color that I use and even use the paper that I use I use arches watercolor paper and the painting I use uh, the paper I, I make it into it's very very small it's just only nine and a half by ten and you cut the big sheet big sheet of paper 22 by 30 into nine pieces okay here we go and this brush would let you to finish a painting on a small paper because of this can be very thin can produce very thin line okay that's good having that some that's good and coming over here some line over there I can break out the line a little bit a little bit later okay that's good okay that's good a little bit thin line coming down that's good now I can come back over here and this probably a little bit more dry already it's still a little wet okay this is good now I'm gonna keep taking that just a little bit darker than the snow tree okay now see from there the main branch which is the main tree trunk and coming down okay and we're gonna break out the shape okay this a little bit wet a little bit too wet okay here you go if you want the line a little bit thinner so you can have to have less paint it would help okay here you go that's good like that Here you go. All right, and and I don't like to to think about oh this is tree okay to me is I'm looking at the value look at the shape look at the line and this is all I look for and in your mind in your mind when you are doing the painting like this. You don't need to think about this is tree. You think about the feeling of the tree, but don't draw the shape uh, that you have pre-built in your mind that what the tree must look like this. And that is not gonna work because is you need to see what is look like the tree in your reference. Look at the value, look at the shape, right? That's most important. Now I'm gonna have just a little bit darker, somewhere in the middle over here. Okay, that's good. Also a little bit in the middle over here, a little bit darker. So that's good. Give some variety. Okay, now coming back over here, it's already dry. That's just good. Now I take a look over here, like that, and coming. That's good. Having a little shape coming down like this. This is good. And that's very good. I get that. See that that's very interesting. And now I'm going to come in to break uh, the shape a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little water over here to break the branch. So, you're seeing that looks like there is some snow in front of this okay that's good here you go now this how you make it feel more like snow so break the shape break the shape good over here too break the shape a little bit okay and this looks like a little too expected so i'm gonna this the same distance i'm gonna break a little bit like that this is good 
and the snow tree it looks just pretty good by painting shapes right and i'm gonna have uh, maybe a little bit more oh that's too dark i'm gonna need to have something really lighter yeah, and that's just the snow like that okay this is good okay wonderful and now we are going to start working into maybe a little bit of uh, take the red shade blue color I'm gonna take a look at that that's some of the detail now see that give it a few minutes 10 minutes it's already dry so you can come back so you don't have to try to finish one place before you move out to the other place okay and have fun and think about the the value of the color it's very important okay here you go that's just the shape for the snow here you go a little bit over here look for the shape capture the shape ask it like that ask it and a little bit shape over here in the snow because this is so close to us so we can add a little bit details at the front okay this is good now I'm gonna have just a little bit darker and a little bit darker but again the darkest color belong to in the house so it's none of those things it's gonna become very very dark so I'm gonna have this for example I'm gonna have a little bit of dark color over here have a little bit dark color over here and have a little dark color over there and a little bit over here that's good and take a look at on this side, the other side and I'm gonna also set a little bit smaller shape like this and still use a little bit blue color mix into this and but need to have a little bit red you can see that analyze the color get used to always analyze analyze the color okay that's good let's take a look and here you go like that that's the shape over there and keep looking for looking for shape like that looking for how the shape look that's pretty nice it may be a little bit too dark but it will be good it'll be okay and now I'm get a little bit farther away I'm gonna have that a little bit lighter Okay, somewhere a little bit closer, somewhere a little bit apart. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Like that. I'm going to have also a little bit track, some footprint in the middle of this. And some dry brushes really help. Right, with the uh, fly brush. I did that a little bit earlier. That's is good. Now it's getting more and more interesting. And okay. Now take a look on the side over here. I'm gonna get a little bit blue color. And like this. Okay, that's good. And have that. A little bit more shadow side. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna come back over here. Um start working into this house and also maybe before then I'm gonna have a little red color think about not just red okay need to have a little bit blue uh, for the trim and because it's quite dark okay here you go got a little bit blue now here we go I'm gonna have this color and think about maybe a little bit lighter so get a little bit red that's good here you go like this coming up one brush stroke think about shape important shape 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 okay like this coming all the way down over here okay that's good like that and then have this coming down maybe a little bit darker coming down over here that's good and 
Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna put the the window trim like that. Put it over here for now. And here you go. It says that's two divided into three section. That's good. Come back to feel the little bit darker color and the inside. Okay, so that's good. And uh, top over here. Okay, there's a little bit chimney over here. And then a little chimney over there. Okay, here you go. Coming onto this side. And I have already told some members, but even though this is not starting yet, and next year, next 2024, and I will be teaching a program in the place called Water Mill and in Italy. And if you uh, a member or not a member, and if you live in Europe, uh, I would let you know more about the program that I'm teaching in 2024. And you can come to join me over there and learn with me. That's going to be in person, uh, premier paintings. And it's going to be a fun program. Okay. That's good. Right here. I want to leave a little bit gap. Like that. A little gap. That's good. Right. That could be even a little bit darker coming over here. And also start from next week. We're going to uh, change it to a Saturday. Um, and then we're also going to have you to register so you can download the ref the, the full size reference with the traceable uh, for my demonstration. And you can come to Zoom and learning with me. And the guarantee is going to be very affordable. Okay, it could be a couple dollars, and for you just come into uh, to have a little bit closer learning experience. So this is good. Uh, this obviously is need to be darker. We we'll come back a little bit later. So I'm gonna have a uh, uh, get the same color. Yep, in Italy. And if you want to learn more about the place, even though my uh, my teach my program that I'm teaching is not online yet, uh, it will be online in April. But if you have more questions, put it into the chat. I will come to answer you. Okay, it's in near Florence, and. And if you want to get more information on the website, just go to Water Mill. Uh, mill is M I L L, singular, dot net. Okay, Water Mill dot net. Uh, you can see that place has a very great learning program. And I will be there in July 6 to July 13, that time. And hopefully you're gonna join me there. If you're a member, you can actually join me and afterward, we're going to have a painting tour in Italy. Okay. So hopefully you also at a good time to join me and start learning warm up and in the enjoying art. Okay, so come into the uh, just use the link patreon.com slash youngchen and we right now have seven days trial uh, for new member so come in 
I don't know why you are hesitate. Just do month to month and try it if it's going to help you. Okay, that's good. Put this color here. Just think about the color. Sometimes you want to change the color. Okay, you say, oh, the color looks good, but I want it to be bigger shape. Oh, I want it to be taller, higher. Okay, now I'm going to put the window frame in here first. Okay, this brush is very good control. Okay, you don't have to use this brush, but you can't stop me. Keep saying that um, because it just give me lots of control. Okay, to look on this side, take the location of this. Here we go. And here you go, the window, making sure it is is properly aligned. That's good. Okay, that's good. All right, there's a little line coming down, and those lines maybe should be a little bit darker. So, but this is will be the first round. I am now. I'm gonna go into have a little yellow color. You can see this color get a little bit yellow, become a little bit brownish. So I'm gonna have this for the chimney. Yeah, and take a look at right in here. And yeah, maybe too dark because I want to see in the dis distance. So I'm gonna have that little bit more water coming down. Here you go, like that. And just think about how dark they shape. Okay, that's just good. Like a look a little bit silhouette because in the distance. And this and this chimney. I'm gonna have this chimney right here at the front. Right, this is good. So we're gonna do the window a little bit later. Alright. Now I'm gonna set the chimney over there too. Okay, here you go. Chimmy, don't forget this chimney right here. Okay, here we go. That's good. This chimney a little bit closer than the other one. So you're going to have a little bit more contrast. That's okay. Moving in a little bit. And I'm going to have a little gray color on the top over here. Okay, like that. So it sounds like uh, the person... The friend just asked, in Italy? Okay. You probably live there, right? So, come in, be my advisor of my trip. And we can plan some member activities in Europe when I'm there. Okay, this is good. That's the chimney. Now, I'm going to come back here to give that a little bit texture. So I'm going to have a little bit brown gray color. So get the red, get the yellow. This is the brown gray color. So get a little bit blue and more, a little bit more gray. That's just good. Now I'm going to open up my brush like this. Here you go. I'm going to have that coming over. Get a little bit of texture. All right. That's very good. Okay, efficiency. It's very important. I'm gonna get a little bit blue. Okay, here we go. Like that. Now it looks very, very good. Much, much better. And on the top over there. And I'm gonna have a little bit darker over here. A little bit darker over here. Here you go. And some texture, some shadow. Here you go. Have a little bit color over here. The color like that coming down. That's good. So when we are uh, in a workshop in Italy, we would do. Actually, they're gonna bring us to a different place. And we're going to do the 
outdoor premier painting. I'm, t I'm going to do a demonstration. I will show you how to do uh, the composition and show you how to. Uh, and also when we can come back from uh, from the location back to the place we live and and they're going to take care of us everything when we're there and we would go into do uh, also indoor uh, workshop talk about how you can get the composition a little bit better okay and here you go that's good. And I'm going to have a little big shape over here, a little bit shape over there. So how you uh, actually modify the shape, how you can, how you think that is very important. And when you're seeing things, what is your reaction to be? How you s know your reaction and modify your reaction then you can become a very good artist. Okay, here you go. Like that, have some warm and cool color. Okay, now this house looks much better. I'm gonna have a little bit brown color, right? It doesn't really take much to make something look the way you like it. Okay, it's all in your head. Okay. Oh, I like that question. Someone just asked about, do you need talent? Okay. Do you know what? You know my answer already. You know the answer already. Talent is a mystery. I would say that. Do you think? Talent is not something, no one can describe it. What is talent? A talent is what you're born with. And you can say that talent is born with because he enjoy it, I don't. So he must, he must have the talent. I think that the interest, it can be learned after and the talent can be, um, well to me, talent is, is interest plus hard working. If you're interested in it, and you're gonna spend the time on it, and you're going to see your talent. I'm not sure that is the proper. And for example, if you're comparing with me, I'm sure that you're probably even better than me in some area. And so, you are not comparing with, if you're starting today, you're not comparing with today. You're comparing with uh, the time that I started it, right? That is being fair, right? So like that would be like a, uh, 50 some years ago. And so if you're comparing with someone already interested in doing something and keep working on it for, uh, 50 some years and that's an unfair comparison. So you don't want to see that, oh, I'm already doing that for 50 years and now you come in to compare with me and then you say, oh, you have more talent than me. That's just not fair. We're just comparing with one of us four years old and comparing with you right now. You're probably more talented, more talented than me at the time. Is that being fair? And write a comment. And our member will read it to me and I can talk about it. Okay. I like to hear what you're thinking. I like that thought about talent. And I've been actually answer their questions every semester when I'm in my classroom with my students in the college. And, and and they all believe that there's talent. And they all believe that they don't have the talent. And this is not the case. Because they're not interested. So they use that as an excuse. 
Say, don't force me. I have no talent. Okay, if you're interested in it, okay, you don't really care what other people say. Uh, you enjoy it every day. You're doing it every day. That makes you happy every day. And that's all count. And, and over the time, if you follow a good direction, um, and efficiency also very important. And you guys know that, right? Uh, if you are learning, not no, you're not learning. You're just copying a photograph every day. Uh, I bet I bet that you may have a very slow uh, progress in the next ten years. And, and then you're gonna say, "Oh, you have more talent than me." You see, I have been working so hard every day for ten years. I'm not really nearly as good as you. Maybe she has a better community, better teacher. So you're not learning a good instruction. That could be the reason, but don't put everything on talent. That's unfair, right? If you have the interest, you're following the right direction, and, and you are going to have a very good result. Uh, if you don't trust what I say, just go to enjoyingart.com. There's lots of members sharing their learning, ex learning uh, painting and drawing experience. You maybe get something from there, inspire you. Okay, this is good. This house looks very good. And I can actually make it a little bit darker. Okay, so. And lots of things it need good instruction, uh, for example, music and painting. Okay, that's good. Now, the house over there looks very nice, and I'm going to have a little bit telephone pose, and not too dark though. And notice that color has all these elements, okay? And one is the color hill. So yellow, red, blue, uh, purple, those are different hill of colors. And the color also has saturation, right? Uh, bright color, uh, neutral color, that is even the same color have different. Also temperature. It's a warmer of color of this, warmer of that, or cooler of that. So it's also important. I'm going to have this not straight up. And we can talk more about that. And I'm going to have a little bit slanted this way. Okay, here you go. Beautiful. Like that. Maybe think about, oh, you're so talented. You draw one line like that. I've been drawing that thousands of times. It's just why. Okay, here you go. Now I have a little bit telephone post. And maybe I have a better brush than you do. Okay. So don't put everything onto talent. Uh, okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna come into this house, right? Uh, we have been talking so much, and I love the conversation. Okay, who else? Give me a a good subject to talk about. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Thank you for the advertise. Uh, I some of this I actually I can take credit for it. Not everything I can take credit. Um, like Vicky, you are working hard as hardworking artist, and you're deeply in love with painting. And also you have uh, a wonderful person that's sharing with all members with your experience. And actually also the best way to learn and progress as you're teaching too. So if you come in to help other, and you also get appreciated and get more confidence. And then you also become a better artist yourself. You see yourself differently over the pro over the the process, 
and you have more confidence, which is another part of the good quality for artists. You got to have uh, the good confidence on yourself. So, <laughs> Vicky, you're one of my favorite in the world. Thank you for finding me and joining me on the journey. And okay, on this side, we have a great team of members. We are working together in the community. We have fun. So this is great to so give a little bit more um, a little bit more wet and then also go a little bit faster. I'm going to get a little red. And coming over here and the top over here. See? Okay, here we go. Yeah, and here we go. Look analyze it so don't just look and paint analyze it is very important when you analyze you actually put your own thought into that okay that's good like that and I forgot to say we have lots of clubs in the member community. So if you have the certain interest, you may be able to find your club in the community as a member for member level, not associate member. And you would actually learning alongside. We have oil club, our business, and if you have any uh, interest in making our business, you can come in over here to uh, joining our uh, meeting conversation. This is good. I'm going to have a little bit blue in here. And in the window, it's reflected some sky. Okay. Okay, here we go. That's good. Also on this side. Okay, this is good. I'm going to have a little bit, filled in a little bit darker color right in the middle over here. Okay, this is good. Right, now I'm going to have some line. Here we go. And also seeing some snow on the steps. Yes, like that. That's good. Okay, um, very nice. I'm going to have that. A little bit over here, and all right. Now I'm going to bottom over here. I'm going to make it. I don't mind to make a little bit dark color over here. Don't make it too dark. Just make the outside. This is a little bit darker. Let's try to keep that a little bit separation. You see that? It's very easy to do. Now the rooftop now in a good shape. Now expand the color. Yes, suggestion for the tree. Okay, that's good. Okay, wonderful. And this house is almost there. I'm gonna add a little bit darker color in over here. Okay. Yeah, as lots of people out there, they are expecting someone give them a feedback or help, but in fact. Not that we don't want to help, but we need to know each other a little bit more, knowing your personality, the direction you're going, in order to give you a good, uh, helpful tip, right? And also, if you don't trust that person, you most likely won't take any advice. So when need you to come over to join us. Okay, that's good. 
the blue and the red, there's two color, making it really dark. Let's just get half. Very soft. Okay, let's just get in the middle. Over here. And I can give little suggestions of the door and the side. Like that. Wonderful. <laughs> and this house almost there. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna give a little bit more red color. Okay, here you go. Almost there, the painting. And slowly, you need the patience, okay? If you don't have the patience, you cannot be a good artist, right? If you, <laughs> what make you to have more patience? Confidence. How to get confidence? There's as many way to get the confidence. You need to feel good about yourself, right? To get confidence. Okay, here you go. Like that. Get a little bit darker. Right under here. That's good. And the trim, make it a little bit darker. That's good. Okay, that's a skid. A little bit more red. I also put it onto the trim over here. Okay, here you go. More red. Change that. That's good. Okay, that's a little bit. That's too much. Okay, break it a little bit. Now I'm gonna add some vertical line. And I'm going to have a little vertical line. And here, I'm going to have, oh, there's some, some quite a bit of fans. It's really nice. And like this, some vertical line. And I'm going to have that coming over. Like that. Okay, just keep it a little bit line. The line help us to direct the attention. Okay. That's the painting, get together. Uh, it's just pretty nicely. We need to have a little some glaze, glazing, and this need to be have a little bit brown color. And have that coming down over here. And a little bit color over here. Okay, that's pretty nice. And we're gonna meet a little bit darker in the, in the house on the wall. Just think about, okay, it needs to be a little bit darker. It's such a small painting. Okay, now a little bit more straight. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's good. A little bit darker, softer. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna have this also a little bit darker. Glaze over. If you think the texture a little bit too much, and it could be very easy to solve that problem. I look at some uh, people's painting. Uh, they think about the color and they think about the value. This is great. When you think about color and value, it's already not easy to balance the two pair of um, relationship. But also if you think about value or the texture, that is a little bit harder. So uh, arc learning is um, never ended. You have a little bit more and more and more complex set of uh, relationship and you need to balance them. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit over here. So if you'll be able to, like, almost like you juggle the ball, right? Sometimes you have one ball, it's much easier to throw it up and, and catch it. But when you get two ball, which is we talk about relationship in the painting, if you have two set of ball, it's got a little bit harder to do that. And you have three set, or uh, three balls throwing up, 
and catch it and get a little bit harder. And if you're good at it, how about get all the way to 10? That will be harder and harder. And somehow, you have to slow down and say, oh, I, I need to practice this simpler uh, relationship first. Maybe a little simpler object. This is what you want to start with. Okay. We are going to um, do portrait uh, challenge soon. And we're going to start from something simple. Okay. And talk about a challenge. Uh, challenge for, with portrait drawing and painting is for members in the enjoying art. So if you're interested in that, I hope that you're going to come to join us, learn with us together. Okay. So I, I really, well, I know there's lots of people in the world that really doesn't have uh, $20 to spare. But I think that Uh huh. Yeah, we're going to talk about edges in a moment. Okay. If you open up for uh, suggestions uh, and find a place to find a belonging, uh, I'm going to put a little shape in here. You think about Outside over here need to be have a little bit darker shape, and this shape is a little bit darker than the snow at the front. This is the bigger catch the shadow, uh, caused by the house. Okay, that's good. See that this when you have this shape, more interesting. And suddenly this doesn't really look that bad, that dark. Okay, now I'm gonna come in to have a little bit more shape like that. Okay, that's as good. And you see that after I put those more blue color shape in it, this is good. Make it stronger painting. And in terms of when you should be softening uh, their color, when should we have it a clear edges? Um, our new painting, uh, I talk about subtle uh, changes of colors, uh, creating a, a portrait painting of a girl, which is coming up to the, uh, there will be a short version coming up to the, to the, um, to the YouTube uh, for you to reveal very soon, and you're gonna see it. And edges have hard edges, soft edges, and lost edges. Cool. So sometimes you need the hard edge somewhere. You need to have a soft edges. So uh, judging on what edges should be soft, what edges need to be harder, and this is a, a study. We need to go through that. You know, it's a, some need to be soft edge, some need to be hard edges. There's a dynamic pair of contrast. And almost like you are going through the math study, through the grade school, right? This is always like that. It's not something like you can always say, well, some people can uh, self-talk all the way to become a super artist. But it's gonna take a longer time and effort. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna have a couple line at the top and the front over here. Now I'm gonna have one over here. Now this is already wet, so don't want to do that right at this moment. So it's going to be just softening and go away. Uh, I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna have that. Wait a little bit, and that's good. I'm gonna have this also a little bit softer, like that. So these two in the shadow side need to be connected. 
Okay, that's good. And the main interest is right over here. So somehow you need to support the interest right in this place. And and maybe this is good. It's just a little wet over here. You're gonna have some uh, coming up. And we can, but we can do that a little bit in a little bit later. So I'm gonna take a look at uh, the some bright blue color. So I'm gonna actually add to the sky over here. I'm gonna have that. That's good. Like that too. I like that little bit blue color. And see through that in the sky. And then I think that's give us some interest. Uh, this is all shape. Okay, somewhere need to be softer because of the tree over here and diluted it. Okay, somewhere need to be clear. Okay. So where should be softer? What should be harder edge? And we're going to continue talk about that in the community in the future very soon. We can have uh, our next month's learning challenge is coming up. We can fit it into a next month's challenge, which is we're going to learn together on some interesting subject matter. Okay, and here we go. Okay. And and have a little bit clear color, a little bit darker clear color. And here, here we go. I'm gonna have some little bit clear color right there, and a little clear color right here. And the bottom line, I'm gonna have a little bit darker. And over here, a little bit darker. It's just give it a couple minutes. Okay, the color will be dry so you can come back to continue working on some area that it was not ready and a few minutes ago okay here you go get even darker okay there's a little bit darker here we go okay now this is already dry see that that's only they take long now I'm gonna have a little bit Darker color, I'm gonna have this coming down from here all the way to here. Think about it. And here you go. Like that. We're gonna have a little catch the shadow on that. I'm gonna have that little bit over here. Another stick. And I'm gonna have a little stick over here too. And I'm gonna have that couple vertical line because we have lots of horizontal line and that's good we're gonna have a couple more line over here and that's good like that and now I'm gonna have a little bit a uh, little blue color I have some catch the shadow on this stick like this Okay, that's good. Gonna have that. Very interesting. Another movement coming up over here. So do we need to add anything else? You can see this color really working really well. And maybe on this side, I'm gonna have, have a little bit red coming over here. Maybe over here have some, I'm gonna have that brush open up a little bit. And here we go. Gonna have that coming up like this have some texture. Okay, this is good. Like that. And this side looks just fine. Maybe have a little bit more shadow. Like that. And then I think the painting for today is going to finish. Okay, and hopefully you enjoy today's um, demonstration. I'm looking forward that you decided to come by to give us a try. We have seven days free trial. I will see you guys soon. Thank you. And how is the on the YouTube? Is that stopped already? Uh-huh.
Okay, let me know if you have any questions. So I really look looking forward that you actually come in to have a face to face conversation in our Zoom meetings. So start from next week, and we are going to. And I think I can say end it, right? I was thinking about you.